Hi everybody, I am Nick McFadden and this is Games on a Budget. In this segment I will be reviewing games that cost less than $10 in hopes of providing you money savvy gamers with a couple of recommendations. Today we will be looking at the indie game made by Adam Guru, A Short Hike. In this open world casual game you play as the female bird named Claire. This game begins with Claire's mom dropping her off at Hawk Peak Providential Park to spend time with her Aunt May, who also happens to be a park ranger. One day, Claire is awaiting a call from her mom and becomes nervous when she hasn't received it. Her aunt explains that this is because there is no cell service in the park and the only place to get cell service is at the summit of Hawk Peak. This sends our character into action as you are thrust into the wonderful world of Hawk Peak Providential Park. Don't let this game's title fool you though, the journey to the top of Hawk Peak is no short hike. There's a few reasons for this. First being the controls are a little janky. Take some time to get used to them and you might have to rebind your control keys. The second reason, and the main reason, is that this game was designed in a way where you can only progress through interacting with the environment around you. You have to acquire items called golden feathers in order to progress in this game. These feathers act as a way to increase your stamina bar, which allows you to climb higher up the trail to the summit. Locking parts of this park behind the feather threshold was a genius move by the game developers. This forces players to become immersed in the charming atmosphere of this little adventure. You can find feathers in three main ways. The first is by reaching challenging areas through pure exploration. There are a lot of jumping puzzles in this game and oftentimes you will be rewarded with a golden feather for figuring out these puzzles. The second way is by purchasing them. I know this sounds like the easy way out, but I will say one of my favorite interactions in this game was from a feather dealer who you meet about three fourths up the way of Hawk Peak Trail. The final and most common way is by doing favors for NPCs. There were many great NPC interactions in this game. One of my absolute favorite NPC encounters was the Beach Skipball side mission. In this little interaction, you are essentially playing volleyball with the NPC until you reach 10 hits between the two of you. I know this doesn't sound super exciting, but this mission really does immerse you in the game and makes you feel like you really are on a team with this NPC trying to reach the silly 10 hit goal. After failing this simple task several times, I finally got above 10 hits and was rewarded with a feather. This game does a great job of rewarding you for having fun, and this is something that is super refreshing to see in the current gaming industry. Another one of my favorite interactions in this game was with the local fisherman Bill. Learning to fish in this game is one of the most adorable moments of my whole playthrough. I couldn't get enough of my character impatiently asking, am I doing this right, before finally getting a fish to bite. An additional aspect of this game I enjoyed was the treasure hunts. Occasionally you find a treasure map that had a cryptic clue as to where a large amount of money could be found. I am a sucker for riddles and it was very satisfying to find where this treasure was buried. This game has enough content to keep you busy for a few hours, but if you are looking for a long game to keep you occupied for a while, this might not be for you. I would also be remiss if I did not talk about the amazing soundtrack to this game composed by Mark Sparling. The soundtrack perfectly captured the essence of this game and enhances the overall atmosphere of this chill adventure. If you do not get distracted by all the possible interactions or get lost in the amazing soundtrack and somehow manage to make it to the end of Hawk Peak Trail, you will be rewarded with a satisfying and beautiful conclusion to your adventure. A Short Hike is a simple yet elegant adventure worth every penny of its $7.99 price tag on Steam. Do you have any suggestions for cheap games to review? If so, please make sure you tweet at ZTV goofing off with hashtag GoAB. Until next time, I'm Nick McFadden.